Hey, this is Hans Newtz. I'm head of design at Bonafide Kayaks. Today I want to introduce you to the new RVR119. This is a river specific kayak. But before we get into all those details, I want to talk to you a little bit about why we at Bonafide decided to do a river specific kayak. So kayak fishing is really about access for many of us. Kayak fishing is about accessing places that are remote, places that are new, um, and targeting fish that we might otherwise not get to find. In my home state of South Carolina, there are a, ha you know, a dozen creeks and rivers that flow out of the Appalachians and down to the coast. And those rivers, each one of them has hundreds of miles of fishable waterways. And the fish in those rivers they may never feel the buzz of a powerboat or the, see the, you know, the flash of an artificial lure. Those are the fish we love to target. Those are the fish we want to catch. Um, and so why would we build an R the RVR119? We designed this boat uniquely and specifically for those environments so we can go target those things, so we can explore new waters, so we can fish our home waters. And that's what the RVR is all about. So what makes the RVR a unique fishing kayak? Well, there are three things that we focus on that I believe make it unique. First, we focused on the hull, and it is specific to moving current and moving waters. And it also has uh, really new in the market, a drop skeg for fishing kayaks. And then secondly, we've also focused on the transportability, the mobility of the boat. At 11 foot nine and about 85 pounds, this thing is easy to transport and I'm gonna show you how we've designed it for transportation. And then thirdly, and most importantly, is the fishability of, of this boat. We've thought through how you fish in these environments, how you fish in moving water, and some of those specific features, we're gonna get into that today as well. So let's take a look at the RVR and all of its features. Okay, so let's get into the hull. This is something that I'm super excited to talk about, so bear with me. I'm gonna get into some details. The, uh, the first thing about the hull is that the bow and the stern, this is my 3D printed model, just to help out with this. The bow and the stern have an upturned shape. It's kind of like a drift boat. For, if you've seen guides and fly fishing, drift boats have upturned bows. This helps the boat, whether it's going upstream or downstream, it helps deflect water in both directions. And so I've designed the boat uniquely in this way to help with moving water in both directions. So along with the upturned bow and the upturned stern for current, this boat has a rocker profile, and that means that's the curvature of the bottom of the boat. It's a rocker profile that's designed to do attainments. I love attainments. Attainments are a great way to fish rivers. You're going upstream, that's what you're attaining. You're moving up to the next pool. And when you do that, you're sneaking up on the fish. The fish are fishing upstream, they're looking for their next lunch, and you're coming in, sneaking in behind them. And that's what this hole has been designed to do. So another thing about attainments and moving up river is that you also need to be able to pause your boat and land it on different objects in the river. Shoals, a submerged log, a shallow rock. So what I've done is, is added up here at the keel, a flat spot. This is a spot that's designed for you to land your boat and make a couple of casts and target fish while you're fishing. It's a where point, it's a spot where it's intended for you to land your boat while you're fishing. So the truth is, is that a hole built for moving water doesn't track straight, it doesn't track well. And the reason is that you have rocker in this hole and it's gonna allow that boat to pivot quickly in moving water, but when you need to go straight, it's not gonna do it. So we've done something on the RVR that's really unique. We've actually added a skeg, this is like a drop down keel that's gonna give you that ability to track straight. So if you're going up a lake to hit a river and you need to paddle straight, or maybe it's a crosswind, this is gonna do it for you. So a few final things about the whole design of the boat. Whether it's the twin skid plates that stabilize the load, it's the upturned surfaces that help uh, the boat deflect through moving water and help manage moving water. It's the deflection surfaces in the bow that help you as you're going upstream or downstream, all of those things contribute to your river fishing experience. 
including the things that help you transport the boat to and from the river. So let's talk about that next. So let's talk about mobility and transport. Access is a huge part of getting to the water that you want to fish. And you've got to be able to get your gear there and back and as easy as possible. So the RVR has been designed to be 11 foot nine, it's 85 pounds and it's 35 inches wide. And we think this is a great mix of capacity, gear storage, and it's also lightweight to help you get there and back. So this boat has been designed with different grip points at the bow, the midship and the stern to help you do all those things, whether it's going down a river bank, getting it back up, maybe it's loading it in your truck bed. At the bow, you have the bow grab handle up front, which is also designed to work with a drag strap. We've also built into the bow underneath extra grip points. This is really great if you're out of your boat in the river and you're moving stuff around, you can kind of grab the boat and shift it around. So you've got three grip points up here. You've also got this strap, which is an, a rod organizer, but it's also built off of security bars. So you can grab the boat and haul it up over stuff. This helps with getting it in your truck bed. And then back here, we have side carry handles. These are low profile, but they help you get the boat when you're in that sort of midship area. And then behind the seat, we have something new. We have a carry handle behind the seat that's going to help you finish getting the boat up into your truck bed. And then it's also built for strapping your boat down in a truck bed. And then finally, we have an extra wide fat grip handle at the stern. So this is going to help you uh, in those times when you're going to do a dual carry bow and stern, you're really getting in and out of some crazy spots. So um, a lot of areas around the boat to grab this thing and move it around. In addition to the carry handles, the boat is designed to be flat dragged. You can drag it with a drag strap. This is great if you want to get down a trail or, or the side of a river. You can also drag the boat from the bow handle and then you're going to have the twin skid plates at the back. And that's going to allow you to drag the boat and have all your gear stabilized while you're dragging it. So another feature about getting to the water is that you wanna get there with your gear and your rods. So the deck has been designed so that the rods can actually stage under the seat and then they're within the profile of the bow of the boat. So this helps you keep your rods from being damaged as you're getting to the water. This carry strap, it doubles as an organizing strap for the rods. So you can, you can keep them organized while you're getting to the river. So wrapping up for mobility and transport, I wanna show you one last thing. The RVR has been designed to work with the Sidekick wheel system. This is an accessory that greatly enhances your ability to get to and from the water. And the last thing is we're gonna go into the deck features and look, really look at the fishability of the RVR. So next I wanna talk about fishability. And I wanna talk about the thing that you've probably noticed about this boat if you've seen any pictures about it, which is that we've integrated the Anchor Wizard anchoring system at both the bow and the stern. So we've routed the cable lines both through the bow and at the stern and we've integrated them to the seat using these mounting plates. And what that does is it keeps your anchor lines internal to the boat and it keeps them from snagging. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a boat that has it all rigged up so you can see how it's gonna work. So we have integrated the Anchor Wizard system into the RVR because when you're fishing rivers, it's so vital that you have an anchor at the bow or at the stern to help you get your boat to slow down or to stop in eddies. So up at the front, we actually have a space where the anchor is, is integrated into the bow. It's trapped by the grab handle and you have a roller that the cable rolls over. This just makes it transition really well. It's really quiet. And the cable is routed through the boat. And so with a nice quiet release, you have a clean deck. This avoids trip hazards and snags. So it's all internal and it pops out at the Anchor Wizard crank, which is right beside the seat. And that's for the bow. At the stern, the stern crank is mounted on the left side and it is also routed through the boat towards the back. And we have a channel back here that allows you to mount a drag chain. And so this is great if you're going down the river, you can deploy a drag chain and that slows the boat down. And again, it, it allows you to quietly make casts and, and that is all integrated into the system. The Anchor Wizard system is a system that we have as an accessory set up. So you can purchase that 
and set it up on your RVR. So the next thing I wanna do is talk about the fishability and particularly this area of the boat, the deck area of the boat. One thing you're gonna notice is that the deck is wide open. That's intended for your rods to be able to stage out in front of you. It's also sloped, it's sloped back to the seat. And the idea here is that if you're gonna run that, that section of the river where you're gonna have a little wave train or something, the bow gets you up over stuff. And if you get water coming over the gunnels, that water is gonna clear out quickly. And it's gonna clear to the scuppers that are right at your seat. So that really keeps the boat moving and it keeps the water clearing out. The other thing I wanna talk about is that the RVR uses the same pod system as the SS. So we've got the dry pod system up front. It hinges up. You can also rig it. So this can be dry storage. You can throw uh, some small items in here. You can also set it up just like the SS with your transducer fully mounted to the bottom and battery inside. So this is an enclosed system and you can interchange this between the two boats. So another feature for the RVR is that we've actually integrated the catch board. You've got a notch on the left side and the right side. Catch board conveniently drops into that notch and that allows you to measure your fish. Um, your feet stage underneath, the fish hits the board and it's actually designed so that the nose of the fish will slide downhill just a little bit into the end of the catch board. So moving up to the bow of the RVR, there are a couple things that you're gonna notice that are different for Bonafide. Uh, first of all, we have this strap system. The strap system, we've already shown that it's, it's a carry strap. It organizes your rods when you're transporting your boat, but it's also a tie down system for dry bags, which is really important in the river situation because you're gonna be going through some rapids. So both the bow and the stern of this boat are designed so that you can add dry bags, just like a drift boat, when you're in those types of situations. The last thing we have is a paddle catch and a rod organizing strap, and this just enhances the way you're gonna fish. And then lastly, on the bow and the stern, you're gonna have access plates for rigging purposes. Moving on from the bow of the boat, let's talk about the seat system. The seat has been designed to be a little bit different from the other bona fides in that it actually sits a little bit more forward and it's closer to that 50-50 bow to stern. And what you'll see there is that that gives the boat a lot of balance in moving water and it gives the boat a great drift profile. So you have a, a lot of freedom in how you're gonna use this boat to maneuver. The other thing is that the seat height is set so that you're gonna have a lot of security when you're running through rapids, but then it's also high enough that you're gonna be really comfortable when you're casting and it's high enough that you're gonna be able to pop to your feet and comfortably make those casts as well. So those things paired together are great. And then the last thing about the seat is that it is adjustable fore and aft. And that just allows you to be able to tune the boat uh, to your fit a little bit better. And then a few more items on fishability. You're gonna have gear track up front, some additional accessory mounting uh, right here in, in front of the seat. And then at the back, you'll have more gear track. And the tank well uh, works with the black pack system up to a 16 by 16 with rod holders. Uh, so a lot of options for uh, rigability and mounting. One of the things we haven't talked about yet is motorizing a fishing kayak. And the RVR has been designed specifically for motorizing from the stern. So a decision we made early on was to include the SS foot braces, which are designed to be used as foot braces locked out, but you can also flip the lock away and then they can be used to slide so that you can steer a stern mounted motor with your sliding foot braces. So moving to the back of the boat for motorization, the battery stores best right behind the seat. So we've created a spot for the battery of the motor and it stores with the deck bungee. It's kept in place, out of the way, and you can still have your black pack right where you need it. So wrapping up on motorization, we've simplified the mounting of the motor to the stern with this accessory mounting plate. This allows you to mount the motor, run all the steering lines, and it still doesn't take away from the effectiveness of the anchor system. As with all Bonafides, the RVR is made right here in the USA. This has been a lot of information to go through today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed working on the RVR. I've been using it for quite a while. This is my exploration boat. This is my adventure boat. And I hope this is your adventure boat too.